How can you know if you're in a genuine twin flame relationship? The first thing to understand about this union is that it is a divine collaboration between two counterparts, the masculine and feminine energies, which are expressions of a shared oversoul that carries the same vibrational signature and is essentially on a path to achieving the expansion of consciousness through this journey back home to the union within the self. In order to achieve this deep union, the twin flames need to first experience separation. They first need to know life without each other in order to understand the beauty of harmony between themselves. In order to understand the twin flame union, we must look at it as a connection that is unlike any other. It is not a soulmate, it is not a karmic, it is not any kind of earthly connection that you might be already familiar with. So although soulmate energy might seem familiar in that it has a certain feeling of home-like connection, deep understanding, similar feelings and interests in life, these are all superficial indicators of sameness because that is the connection to a soul family that you might encounter through this feeling of genuine familiarity and closeness. A twin flame connection is very different from a soulmate because a twin flame is actually here to trigger you to achieve healing and deeper consciousness that you might have never expanded through the connection with another. A twin flame connection forces you to look within, to confront your shadow, and to feel these deeply intense feelings that nobody has the ability to inspire in you other than your twin flame. So the first sign of a genuine twin flame connection is actually a tumultuous roller coaster of emotion. When you experience a true twin flame connection, you're first going to be dealing with euphoric states of bliss, love, excitement, and enthusiasm just to understand your twin flame and to experience this connection fully. Typically, this connection includes strong feelings of sexuality and urge to merge with your divine counterpart, to explore them in body, mind, heart, and spirit, to experience intimacy, and to curiously endeavor to figure out who they really are at their core, because deeply, subconsciously, you will be recognizing yourself in your divine counterpart. The next stage of the twin flame union typically involves some emotional catharsis, some triggering of deeper underlying feelings, which could start to trigger the moment of separation. When separation occurs in a twin flame union, it's going to feel extremely painful, extremely confusing. And it's at this point that you might start to doubt the connection altogether. When this connection goes from very euphoric to very dark, painful, and triggering, you might have the desire to terminate the feelings and to even sever your ties with the twin soul. You might desire to shape the connection to something lesser than it really is because you are simply undermining the power of the intensity of this bond. In order to understand the twin flame connection, you must know that there is no way to sever those cords. There is no way to cut the ties because the other aspect of the twin flame connection, sign number two, is that this cannot be terminated. It is a permanent, lasting, abiding connection because your twin flame is, again, just an expression of you. Once you meet your twin flame, there's no way to get them out of your consciousness or out of your life. So if you try to forget your twin flame or to emotionally or energetically cut this connection with them, you'll find yourself unable to do so. And so what you quickly start to learn through the twin flame connection is that resistance just ends up leading to more resistance. Whatever you resist persists with a tremendous amount of intensity in the twin flame bond. Because what this is teaching you is that resisting your twin flame is just like resisting yourself. Once you experience love in this connection, you can do nothing else but to continue to experience this unconditional love, even if it means surrendering your power over your connection, even if it means having to surrender the need to be with your twin flame, because ultimately twin flames are learning at their own pace. One of the most challenging learnings along the twin flame journey is that you may need to sacrifice your need to be with your twin flame in order to learn the power of unconditional love. Learning unconditional love is something that the twin flame teaches you above anything else. Because unconditional love in this dynamic is the very key to achieving union, to understanding yourself and to understanding why this connection was necessary in the first place, to teach you what it means to cut past all of the superficial differences in separation, to move beyond the triggers and the emotional difficulty which twin flames are bound to experience, it is the key to healing and to ending the self-inflicted suffering along this pathway. Because as soon as you can learn to adopt unconditional love, and to see through the eyes of God that unity is the reason for this connection, you will no longer feel conflicted by the presence of your twin flame. And you will begin to see that they are here as a gift, as a valuable teacher, to lead you back to the path 
and to choose soulful union within yourself. Now, why is it that this connection is so triggering? This is sign three of a genuine twin flame connection. The twin flame union is bound to be challenging at times because your twin flame is going to be mirroring back anything within you that puts you apart from unconditional love. The twin flame is going to be showing to you everything that you must work on and heal internally speaking in order to adopt the path of unity. In order for you to start experiencing true harmonious union with your twin flame, you must first accept that everything that you're experiencing in the connection as adversity, difficulty, and a challenging circumstance is in some way a reflection of you. If you want to terminate these challenges, what you must start doing is not deflecting that blame onto your twin flame and pointing at them as the source of all of your misery, but actually seeing yourself as the primary cause of it. If you can see how in your twin flame connection everything that is happening is actually happening for you and to help you enlighten yourself to the truth of what is happening in your unconscious aspect of your psyche, you can start to see how you are able to catalyze this twin flame connection into a more healed, harmonious union. It is up to you how you choose to harmonize within yourself and how you choose to either perpetuate the suffering and the unconsciousness or to start bringing the expansion of your awareness into the twin flame union to side more lovingly with your other half. Anything that you resist, repress, or hate about yourself will inevitably come out in the twin flame union. Your twin flame will neglect you, possibly even in ways that you neglect yourself. Or they may start to teach you in more harsh ways about the truth that you are unwilling to ascertain because they are simply trying to do this out of love for you. Everything that happens in the twin flame connection is done out of a desire for both twins to find their way in true union with and within each other. Everything that happens in this connection is done for the divine cause of helping both twins eliminate and neutralize everything that is happening unconsciously so that they can step into their highest pathway of evolution to serve their highest good. The fourth sign of a true twin flame relationship is that you may start to feel a third party presence in this relationship. The presence of an omniscient observer. You can say God, source consciousness, or the universe that has your back and is constantly guiding you toward this soulful union. This third party observer is going to feel like a comforting energy, which gives you consistent synchronicities, reminders, symbols, patterns, and unique signs that are relevant to only you and your twin flame to help you realize this union is always present in your life, even amid moments of difficulty, emotional challenges, and separation, you will still feel that the union is there because it quite literally is. In the higher dimensional realm, this union is always present. You are already one with your twin flame which means that all these signs are being manifested by your own subconscious mind to bring you this constant reminder that you are on a path to union, that this union cannot be broken, and it is shaped and brought even more closely into fruition as soon as you start to recognize that it is a permanent aspect of your soul's journey, and it is your mission to come into union. So be an observer. This journey is also teaching you to look through a more conscious lens on everything happening in your life to see the magic of the universe unfolding to you in order to help you understand that this is all happening for your expansion of awareness. If you can start to recognize the magic and beauty in this connection, ever more signs will be bombarding you from every corner, leading you toward this understanding that life can be beautiful, it can be magical, and it can be wholesome when you choose to harmonize within yourself. When you choose to open your heart and to perceive in terms of everything that is already accessible in your consciousness to help you understand that love or integration is the answer to all earthly concerns. Another critical sign of this connection is that all the healing that you begin to do within yourself as you encounter your twin flame and go through this catalytic journey of deeper knowing is that it will be equally reflected in your twin flame. You will start to recognize that unlike another kind of earthly connection in which each party has an independent free will and ability to choose over the other, this is not really the case in the twin flame union. In other words, if you choose to heal and to balance within yourself, your twin flame is almost magically going to start to balance out within themselves as well. All inner work that you do within yourself will also start creating certain changes within your twin flame. As you expand your awareness and commit to loving unconditionally, your twin flame will also feel this energy. And there will be an interesting interplay of this expanded awareness that occurs within both parties as soon as one decides to activate this path back home. Both twin flames always feel the connection. It is undeniable in both parties, and they may both try to suppress and deny it at times, but rejecting it will only mean that they continue to reject 
themselves. Remember that both twin flames above all else want to be in union. There's a deep desire, like Source has, upon fragmentation, to come back into a state of oneness. Twin flames have manifested this illusory experience of separation just to discover the wonder of what it means to come back home to themselves. And so this path home to union is really the path of understanding what it means to recall being as one, to recall being no different from your twin flame, to be both masculine and feminine within yourself, to be both mental and a feeler at your core, to experience all aspects of life and no separation in spite of them all. Because as you learn to relate more to your twin flame, you learn to relate to all of life and to see the entire universe in this loving way, which puts you into alignment with all things that exist. Your twin flame union is here to teach you the deepest lesson of all, which is how to align with alignment, with the universal flow which always is. And if you can learn to adopt this energy within you, you will be blessed with the beautiful, romantic, and absolutely exquisite love of the twin flame partnership which will help you activate your deeper calling to be of service to the expansion of love in the collective.